Okay, so you really can tell that the radios don't quite look the same. The uh, has a uh, the 746 Pro has like a silvery color to it, whereas this is much darker. But this is how I'm gonna do these. I really don't want to do this because I like my Pro in the house, my 746, but I don't have two meters wired up in the house. And the 756 is too large to sit on top of the MFJ antenna tinner in the house. And also the port on the back of it doesn't work for FT8. So um, that's what I use this radio for is FT8. I do FT8 when I'm in the house in the evening before I go to bed. And um, I'm not going to do it out here unless I have a laptop and I can plug it into here. So, um, And I'm not going to do it on the new radio. Um, so this is what I've got uh, for the setup so far. And it's starting to kind of come together. So um, I still need to figure out a work area. I got the monitor over here. I may change this all, you know. Um, but the thing is, I want the vintage stuff up here. And I want it to be operational. And I'll get on it and use it a few times a week or month or whatever. So. Now, I wish they would make a modern radio that can just put out, like, a ton of power. Like, why don't they put out 200 watt radios? 300 watt radios, 400 watt, 500 watt radios, radios that don't need an amplifier. They have all this LD MOS technology. Can we not come out with like some ICOM 7500, you know, does 500 watts, you know, a 7300 with 500 watts? I mean, like, I'm, I would guarantee tons of people would buy that radio. You'd have a radio that puts out 500 watts with LD MOSFET, you know. I mean, that'd be so cool. I mean, they wouldn't need an amplifier hooked up to the radio. You just run 500 watts. And if that ain't enough, then you're probably not going to make the contact anyways. But anyway, so I'm getting this stuff set up. And uh, I'm really digging the way it looks up here. But, you know, um, it's a work in progress. I wish I had a little bit more room so I could have, like, another rack of radios like this. So basically, um, I'd like to have, like, the... Um, the older, but newer, uh, Yesus, which I got right behind there, but anyway, um, not all the Yesus have the same form factors, so they don't really look right together. Got the tuner, got the amplifier, got the amplifier, the 10-tech kind of stands out, because it's different than everything else, but we're getting there.